the sound test room. Hey, hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Synthmaster Player, the latest, latest version, uh, version from KB331 Audio. So you guys, uh, this is, there's tons of new stuff going on here. So when this is when this is available, you'll have uh, full MIDI lane. You can select your scales as per normal. There, you can just select major or minor, and then it's highlighted on the keyboard. Uh, also here, well, there you have your chords which you had before. You have two different versions of whole, single or multi. But now you also have this new expand, which will expand the keyboard, so you get two keyboards basically, one at the top, one sound, two keyboards. Okay, and we have a new fretboard thing here which will also work with the scale so if I hit mine as you'll see that there uh, so it's like a guitar fretboard and then you have pads as well also so you can play with pads plus uh, you have the ability now to record your movements here so for instance this is from the uh, one of the new 300 presets in the 2.7 expansion pack so if I wanted to record that Just hit record and it will record for as long as you play it and then we can just revert to our original okay so let's have a look at some of the packs so it's very very cool these are from just the 300 from the 2.7 factory presets I have it midi up to a keyboard as well Tons and tons of cool new stuff. Very, very, very sub bass. This is another thing as well, if you're listening through, if you're not listening through headphones, grab your headphones now, you're going to get a much better experience. So much cool stuff. Also, I would suggest if you're planning on ever using this cross-platform, so if you're gonna, if you've got a um, uh, your desktop and you use that as well, it's well worth getting the desktop player version uh, because you'll still get the 1100 uh, presets in the in the in the actual before you start buying them. Once you start, once you've bought the player version, but you'll be able to use any expansion packs that you buy in the desktop version in the iOS version. Where the other way around, it won't work. If you just buy the iOS version and you start buying preset packs and then in a, a future point decides that you want to go to desktop, you're not going to be, export, be able to export these into the desktop version. Although they are exactly the same, they are quite a lot cheaper on here than they are on there. So that's a, that's a thing to uh, think about. <laughs> They're so deep. I'm gonna, so this would work fantastically well in a sci fi movie. So, like, your ship lands, right? <laughs> I like this super low fi brass.
This is cool. Let's turn that up a bit. And it's changes as you change your tonality. The effect, I've got to say the effects are brilliant. Very atmospheric and evolving just with one note before we start messing with anything else. And a lot of them are quite playable as well. Not just like one shot effects, you know. So you got in the new in the new 2.7 engine. This uh, these all these 300 used the new oscillators and uh, new filters and the new wavetables that you'll get with the full full on synthmaster synth on the desktop. Lovely sound. It's not all about the madness, people. Super velocity sensitive, so... Super loads of cool stuff. All right, guys, I could go on all day. 300, 300 new presets. New functionality, you've seen. It's a fantastic job. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you have liked the video, visit us at soundtestroom.com. Please visit kv331audio.com too. Uh, check out all their options and stuff. And these guys are always having sales and stuff like that. So, you know, keep an eye on it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you later.